let us review what we have learned in this section. We have studied the topological properties of a family of one-dimensional Hamiltonians formed by continuously varying a parameter. We can change this parameter in a periodic fashion, and this defines a quantum pump. You have seen one example of such a pump, known as the Thaulis pump, and in the next section you'll hear about another example, which is formed by placing a quantum hole system in an anodous geometry and threading it with magnetic flux. You have seen that the ability to pump charge, or spin, is related to the appearance of a zero energy state sometime along the cycle. Since our system is gapped throughout the cycle, the only place where such a zero energy state can appear is at the very end of our system. And this shows the correspondence between the pumping properties and the appearance of edge states. Now, these edge states that cross the Fermi level change the scattering phase shifts of electrons coming from the leads. Therefore, the non-trivial pumping properties, which are related to the topological invariant, can be read off as a scattering type of experiment. In fact, this way of calculating the topological invariant is a very powerful tool for a few reasons. First, it's much easier than calculating the bulk invariant, since essentially all we need to consider is the behavior close to the edge of the system, we're reducing the calculation by one dimension. But also, since we're calculating the outcome of a scattering experiment, which, and since most experiments can be described as scattering type of experiments, this, we can immediately relate the invariant that we found to measurable quantities. But finally, it turns out that in certain cases, this way of calculating the invariant is actually useful in strongly interacting systems, where calculating the bulk invariant becomes a very challenging task due to the strong correlations between the particles. In these kind of cases, the bulk edge correspondence becomes a very powerful tool. Since all topological phases are associated with zero energy states that cross the Fermi level, they, they would always have a non-trivial effect which is detectable in a scattering type of experiment. What this means is that in certain cases, we can treat the strongly interacting system as some kind of black box, where all we need to know is the way it affects the scattering phase shifts of the electrons coming from the leads. And this allows us to avoid a lot of difficult calculations. But you'll hear more about interacting phases as the course goes on.